Yeah, Romania's starting to struggle in terms of indus industry, I think. Yeah, they've only got nine military factories compared to our 23. We have them doubly outnumbered. It's mostly their allies which are keeping them alive. It's actually the Hungarians right now who's doing the most. Liberia has joined the allies. So we've already got 0.6% manpower raised. Still flowing out to the troops. But we're getting 7,000 at a time. And it almost immediately just drops. Aha! Here we go. Last of the land doctrines. <laughs> just drops like a rock. Apparently our armies needed a lot of reinforcements. Oh man, they are so much stronger now. We're actually getting to 100% unit strength. Fantastic. And we have a surplus in everything. Oh yeah. Is my general still pretending to be hurt? Yes. For another 45 days. In fact, in that time, I'm kind of happy with them just attacking me. Um, let's bring you probably to this top line, honestly. Radio! At last! It is October 42. Begin working the heavy tank threes. You're really going to owe me after this, Turkey. No idea what it's going to pay out. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, right. Interesting. So, Yugoslavia, I hear you have armies. Uh, not anymore you don't. That's not it. That's the one I want. Well spotted. And, in fact, what we can do is bring in some more of the... Yugoslavian forces to go and defend that. <clears throat> ah, I did not know that. So I still need a hundred thousand manpower. J just, just a little bit. I did not realize just how low on manpower we were. Crikey. Yeah, it's for units like this one, probably. Yep. And that's with the uh, thousand that we're getting a day, plus the manpower increase. I mean, we're going to go up to five point, like, five, probably? So we've still got another 2.2 to go, ish. How long until you're back? 30 days. Do I want to wait a month before the next push? Not really, because I want to take as much of this land as I possibly can before the Soviets do. Atomic research. Bulgaria can into nukes. Remarkably effectively, actually. Um, we're not actually using motorized at all. Let's get the 1940 fighters. I think there's any reason not to. 
Oh no, we can actually get some. We can only get the close air support. Oh no, that's an agil agility and max speed. So we need to get the Darjovna Aeroplana. Which is this one. And seeing as the foreign aircraft designs just doesn't work, or at least the army ones didn't, I don't know about aircraft, um, I'll probably go for the internal ones. Upgrade field hospitals, already done. So at this point I'm mostly waiting for Popov to come back. So it turns out these Italian units are kind of strong. <clears throat> Not what I wanted to hear. Alright, we'll wait until the reinforcements arrive. Then we'll drop a uh, planning prep, and then we'll attack again. Italy's been doing remarkably well. I do kind of wonder if they've been buffed a little bit in this update. Because the fact that they held on to Ethiopia and have caused a significant amount of problem for the Allies in Africa. And their divisions here are causing me problems. Like, it was the Italians that really stopped the fall of Romania. At least until the arrival of the Hungarians. We should not rely on foreign designers to supply our air force with the aircraft it needs. We will carry out a large expansion and modernization of the facilities of our state aircraft workshop in Bojuriste. And this will give us the uh, fighter upgrade, which we so desperately want. Uh, how long until you're done? 119 days? Fine. Funny thing that a new nation such as Bulgaria got their own voices, yet Yugoslavia still doesn't, even though they were released on Death and Dishonor. That's because Death and Dishonor was a terrible DLC. And actually I hadn't realised that they didn't have voices. It's a little surprising. Oh, your planning's not actually taking very long. Right, because we didn't go the planning route on Grand Battle Plan, we went the attack route. Speaking of attacking, we should probably consider doing that again. Oh, look how much experience we've lost, simply because we actually have people in our armies now. It's such a crazy concept, and yet that's exactly what's happening. We're still... Uh, 80,000 manpower short-ish. Popov, are you back yet? No. Six days. You know what, let's bring you back. Then Markov can be replaced with Nikolov and then Nikolov. Oh, Markov can come here. Yeah, that's right. So we don't have Mr. Useless level 3 commanding that. And then we'll just need to wait a couple of days. Better engineers. Sounds good to me. Two days. 22nd of November. We'll be back in business. Are the Hungarians leaving? No, but they've taken a bunch of damage. So let's go punish them for that.
Cut off. That is a massive chunk of the Romanian forces just destroyed. Oh, hell no! Good. <laughs> I was gonna say, just because you got cavalry there, Soviets, hell no! Absolutely not! Cheeky! Blimey! Actually, better plan. Okay. That's a massive shortage of steel. Oh dear, Soviets. Uh have stopped exporting. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's a problem. Buy in some from Vichy. Buy in one, I guess, from Greece. I'm kind of working out how many convoys I can afford to do on this, then one on Yugoslavia. Fortunately, that's going to make yes, Yugoslavia. Was that it? Was that 60? I think that was 60. Sweden and zero convoys, and I'm not entirely sure why. That was 60. Okay, fantastic. Well done, chat. Thank you so much for your support there. So we've just hit the first milestone, which is already just one payout there from Raid Shadow Legends. We're on to the next one, which is 90. And then after that, we still got the 120. I am still convinced that we can hit 120 if we try. Uh, so 90 is the next one in our sniper scope. So thank you very, very much for everyone's support there. So for those of you who are just joining us and don't know what the heck that was all about, um, I'm currently being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. And part of the uh, sponsorship is getting some uh, downloads. So you can get the game for free, you can play it. Um, and if you download the game and play at least five minutes, which is the tutorial, so you just need to do the tutorial, get to the Bastion, that's all you need to do, um, then I get a payout, basically. And then once we get those 90 downloads, that's the next milestone that I need to hit. So thank you very much for everyone. That was really, really awesome. We, we got that in just two days. We have seven days to raise the full amount. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you wish to contribute to the channel, it is a very easy way to do so. And like I said, it's it's a generous, it's a very generous um, sponsorship that they've offered. Kakakodo wants me to drink some tea to celebrate. As does Commander Faceless. Thank you very much for those. Celebratory tea, indeed. And Frisky Dingo, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. We seem to have some military factories available. What do we still need? Uh, actually, at this point, nothing. Manpower. <laughs> That's what we need. I think more artillery. And at that point, it is now going to be worth my while to import somehow overland from India tungsten. Okay. So how is this war against Romania doing? Are oh, then 98% capitulated already? The Soviets have killed the most, but I am second. And then the UK third with 505. Does that even count at that point? 
Oh, Dutchy Stindies has almost capitulated. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. But, one hell of a fight back from China. Crikey. Probably because Japan's over-invested in the um, Indonesia attack. I haven't got CAS researched. We're using fighters purely for air superiority. And actually, speaking of fighters... Um, we lost an air wing. How do you lose an air wing? Has Bulgaria got more interesting? Now that we're actually fighting, a little bit. I still definitely don't think that this was the optimal way to play. But we, we played it fast and loose. We didn't really come in with a plan. We were just kind of like, okay, we're going to roll with whatever chat decides. And chat chose poorly. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to move you to that one spot. Okay, so we are getting manpower again, which means I can start making some more of these. Which is awesome. Alright, are we ready for the off? I think I'm going to wait until these Hungarians leave. There it is, the Dutch East Indies have capitulated. Off you go. And we are attacking into a forest, which is historically kind of bad for tanks. So of course you choose to attack across a river, even though the target's up here. Idiots. Part of the problem is we can only attack in that one position. Let's have you attack that and you attack that. Just stop them sending in reinforcements. Not that I think it's going to help. Unfortunately, this is kind of harder areas to break. Ah, but it does look like the Italians are actually leaving. So, um, let's let them. As are the Hungarians. More convoys. Thank you, America. We do kind of need them, seeing as we have no naval bases. We've actually lost 81,000? Wow. Probably during the days of not having tanks. Turns out the tanks are important, yo. This DLC is all about Turkey. You say while I'm playing as Bulgaria? Huh? Clearly not. Do firmly believe Turkey is the best made country out of the tree unless you do the Adon cheese. Greece is the hardest unless you join the common turn with the allies. <laughs> Thanks for reporting, yo. Agrees in Rommel. So we are going to do this slightly differently. We're going to attack that spot because we can attack it from two different locations, whereas here we have to attack from just the one. Once we've taken this, we can have that from two, and then at that point we have the cutoff. The one Italian coming in, but he's very low organization. He's not going to impact this very much. And there we go. And now we just need to hold it.
All right. This will give you lot a chance to recover. Looks like the Russians are attacking there too. But that's okay. We can let them. Uh, why are you attacking? Oh, you're being attacked. How are we doing down here? Uh, that's a very flimsy defense. Take it back. Pushed across the river, which is annoying. Sophia's in a little bit of danger, but I'm not going to say a huge amount. The Slovakian divisions, kind of tough. I think I need to get a bit of a move on up here. Unfortunately, the cavalry is taking their sweet time getting their organization back again. Alright, um, seeing as we do seem to be in less danger down here than I initially thought, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more units defending this, and then I'm going to have you responsible for that. And that will mean the yellows aren't quite spread out. Because the Romanians are definitely doing a bit of a fight back right now. And that's just not on. Okay, so that was the aeroplane upgrade, so now we can get the Samoletna. DAR facilities in Bojurgiste are already producing Bulgarian fighters to feed the Air Force. We can now invest in the creation of a state aircraft factory in Lovec. With modern installations, they will focus on the production of other light aircraft. And we have another military factory and we are out of freaking steel again. Uh, I think more guns. That's using all of my convoys. Well, all right then. Let's see if we can get this cutoff going. Because <clears throat> as we shorten the line over here, one, there's less danger of the Soviets stealing land that we want, and two, we can start shifting troops over this way. So losing a bit of ground here doesn't matter because it's also having the effect of stringing their lines out further. We've got incoming. Hey, another follower, thank you very much. Another um, raider, rather, that's what I meant to say. So thank you very much for the sign up, appreciate it. Let's finish this little sector off first of all. We'll delete that. And delete this.
Yugoslavia is actually pumping out soldiers. Can't say that I disapprove. Disapprove. Just to make sure the Soviets don't grab this. There we go. Boom. And now all of those troops are going to filter over here. Now there's definitely less of a chance to get encirclements going. But that doesn't matter because we're across the river. We can just do this. Oh, and somebody in chat was asking, are we just at war with Romania? No, we're at war with the Axis. Whoa, Italy, what the hell? Uh, huh. Yeah. 